guys, welcome back to another video of the Real Fisherman channel. Today I'm in my garage and I'm gonna be doing um I'm gonna be doing some fishing tonight. I'm actually gonna be fishing at the same pond that I did the I think it's called Dope B roll uh video, so check that out. It's gonna be in the right hand corner of this video, so it'll pop up right now. And so um check out the video if you haven't already. I'm gonna be fishing with my brother and my friend Paul that you saw in my second to last video. So, hope we catch some fish. I'm gonna be bringing two rods with me in my backpack, and I'm gonna bring you guys along too. So, subscribe, like the video, and stay tuned. made it. It's very windy. There's the pond. There's some huge houses like straight across. It's a huge house. There's tons of There's tons of grass. The water is definitely higher than last time. Last time. The whopper plopper that I found it in the second to last video. Hopefully this will catch a fish on top water. I'm gonna try to get the if I get a bite on it. Try I'm gonna try to get it on video, but I'm I really do not want to use all my battery and just film the whole time fishing. So you guys I can't make any promises on getting that uh blow up on this. So just telling you that ahead of time before you guys blow up the comp. This Whopper Plopper action is amazing. I do not think I've ever used the Whopper Plopper, but I've seen people use Whopper Ploppers on YouTube videos and stuff like that. So I know they do work, but just have to try to catch one in this lake, which this lake is Sometimes pretty difficult to catch fish in, so hopefully we can find what they're eating. Might have to change from the Whopper Plopper, but I'll keep you guys updated. I for sure thought I'd get one on that drain right there, but nope. Oh, a bunch of geese just landed. Hopefully we can get some. I'm just gonna try to work it across this channel because there could be fish like within it chasing like bait fish up it, but it's like super, super shallow also. I'm just gonna try to work this whopper plopper along this channel and hopefully hook on a 35 pound bass. Maybe. Wish me luck. There's a bridge. There's some orange mushrooms right there. I'm just gonna try to cast along this and hopefully get a bass to bite in this little creek.
You guys, I got one on the Whopper Plopper. Let's go. I got one on the Whopper Plopper. Let's go. I wish I could have got that blow up on video. I saw like something swimming out in the water, like right there. And then I just cast it right by it. And sure enough, this little guy, I'd say about two and a half pounds. No, not two and a half. What am I thinking? Like about a little bit over a pound. He just came up and ate it. Let's get him all hooked. Nice one and a half pounder on the Whopper Plopper. There he goes. That is a really good start to the day. That was like super awkward then because I was talking to a camera and those people walked up, walked past me. I bet they thought I was crazy, but it's all for you guys. So, that, anyways, that was a good start to the day. I'm so glad I got one on this top water pl whopper plopper. That actually really boosted my confidence in this bait. Hopefully, we can get some more on this bait. There's this little cove over here. I feel like this whopper flopper is going to work in here. If there's any fish. That dog has the weirdest bark ever. Sounds like a bird. Okay, hopefully we can catch a fish though. Well, that's surprising. Didn't get anything in this corner. That's kind of annoying. I totally thought I would. Now I'm going to work my way back to the other side of the lake and probably pick up the Senko because I just brought this rod, my big casting rod, pick up the Senko and hopefully get some fish on the underwater, or not, yeah, hopefully get some fish underwater and then maybe at the end during the sunset I will pick back up the Whopper Plopper and try to catch some big bass. Oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna pull out my phone because I don't think you can see that very well on the GoPro. Yeah, this just happened. Look at the size of this bass that went for the, oh, buddy chill. This bass is literally the same size as the water water. Oh my gosh. Wow, like I thought I lost the fish when after it, I got a blow up on it. And then I saw the line moving, and this guy was just on. That's literally like an ounce. It came from that little point of this grass bed. It's like, so like right at the bottom part of this, it's just a tiny bit of water, and then it gets deeper and deeper as it goes out. So that's actually a good spot for the fish to hide in, ambush on bait, and... I made a cast right along that channel and along that grass bed and sure enough got that fish on it. You can feel it? Yes! Emmett, do you have a bite? Yes. Tell my viewers. What? Do you, did you have a bite? Tell my viewers. Yes, I had a bite. It was like two pounds. Nice. And I'm fishing for bluegill. And then there's the sunset. It's really pretty.